hard water. The overall apparatus used in the softening of water by permutate method is shown on the frame. In this method, first of all, tank in which permutate is allowed to expand is shown. In this area, hard water is introduced from the top by dip tube, as shown in the animation. Next element used in the softening of hard water is permutate, an artificially synthesized complex salt of zeolites. Permitted used for the softening of water is supported over a layer of coarse sand or gravel at the bottom of the tank which acts as a basket for dip tube. This allows water to flow easily. Also, it does not allow permitted to enter the dip tube. Next element used in this method is fill tube. It functions to allow brine solution to enter the tank used for softening of hard water and also allows regeneration of brine solution for future use. In the brine solution tank at the bottom of the tank, there is a salt tray used during regeneration of brine solution when needed. In the process, hard water is introduced into the tank from the top. Water reaches the bottom of the tank and then slowly rises through the permitted layer in the tank. The cations present in hard water are exchanged for sodium ions. The calcium and magnesium ions remain attached to the zeolite and the water becomes soft. The soft water contains sodium salts, which are soluble in water. These sodium salts do not precipitate the soap and do not interfere with lather formation. The soft water then passed through the dip tube up and through the central distribution system is passed through the outlet to household water supplies. As the process continues, the zeolite gets exhausted because the whole of sodium zeolite gets converted to calcium or magnesium zeolite. It may be regenerated by passing 10% solution of sodium chloride through it. The regenerated sodium zeolite can be used again for the softening of water.